Stay tuned to find out how to make this marble lipstick caddy. To begin, I'm going to take my plastic container apart. I am going to remove both the top piece, which was the copper colored piece and the plastic bottom so that I can reutilize it in the way that I need it for this caddy. Next, I am going to measure out my marble contact paper. The easiest way is to set your plastic container on top of the marble paper put a small piece of tape on the end so it'll hold it in place and then measure around the entire circumference of the container once you get the exact amount that you'll need measured out then you'll simply take your scissors and cut along the marble contact paper using those pre determined lines on the back they already have it measured out and the lines are extremely helpful to keep your line straight as you're cutting and then also measure out how much contact paper you'll need as to not waste any once you have the contact paper measured out you're simply going to remove the paper backing and then place your plastic container on top of the marble contact paper. You'll want to make sure that you align it evenly so that it will go around the container smoothly and that both sides will end up lining up. The way that I did it was that I just placed it on top of the contact paper and then I simply rolled the container allowing the contact paper to adhere to it. Next, I just roll and smooth the contact paper along the container. Take your time with this part because you don't want any air bubbles pulling up under the contact paper. So take your time, smooth it down, and if you need to, you can always remove the contact paper and then reapply it. That is the full benefit of the contact paper is that it is extremely sticky and it allows for mistakes. So keep going until you can get a smooth finish. Next, you're gonna go ahead and bend in any excess contact paper. You'll wanna do this on both the top and the bottom because you don't want the excess contact paper just sticking up. Next, I'm going to glue the plastic cylinder to the bottom of the caddy. Just use your hot glue, put a ring of glue around the cylinder, and then attach it to the bottom of the caddy. This is going to allow you to hot glue the bronze piece to the bottom, giving it a nice little bronze stand. Once you add your hot glue to the plastic piece that is now the bottom of your caddy, you'll want to make sure that you flip it over and press down so that the hot glue actually adheres to the bronze. And for the last step, you will just hot glue your mini bottles to the bottom of your caddy. This just gives it a little bit more height the place that I'm setting it in my bathroom I want it to stand up off of the counter and these are actually syrup bottles from Cracker Barrel that I used um, I wanted to use things I already had on hand here is the finished marble lipstick caddy I really liked how this came out it was a simple use of items that I already had on hand and it is going to be really practical because look at all of these lipsticks I have. I have so many and now I have a cute place to store them. After I finished, I thought 
about later on adding inserts inside the caddy that way I can separate the lipsticks by color but I will do that later because I thought about it after I finished the video <laughs> you guys enjoyed this week's video the DIY marble lipstick caddy I enjoyed making it it was well needed I had all of my lipsticks just sitting in that makeup bag that you saw which it's such a cute bag but I wanted to have them accessible so that I will use them more I normally stick with the same lipstick or lip gloss every day so I want to utilize more of the ones that I have so that they're not just sitting somewhere in a makeup bag. Anyways, if you guys decide to make this lipstick caddy, please make sure that you tag me on Instagram at haiku underscore creations. It is so much fun creating these different DIYs each week. Please leave me a comment below on which DIY has been your favorite so far this year. Thank you guys for joining me. I love you guys so much. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a great day. And always keep creating. Alright, I love you guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Tap the like, thumbs up. And share this video with a friend. Alright, love you guys. Bye.